File Explorer, also known as the File Manager, offers excellent search tools and can easily turn up text-based documents by file name or content. But finding photos is usually dependent on your ability to remember the file name or where you put it. Adding custom metadata tags, which are search terms embedded in the photo, can make finding photos easier. Not all picture file types support metadata, but TIFF and JPEGs do. There can be privacy issues with metadata. You should remove sensitive tags and location information before you share a photo on the web or with people you don't know or with people who are going to turn around and post the photo to a social media site. Sometimes metadata can't be read by different operating systems due to different interpretations of the tagging standards. Tagging. Searching for tags works differently on different devices. Searching on my own iPhone gives me a list of tags from which to choose. When I search my photos on my iPhone running iOS 14, I am presented with a list of tags and the number of photos associated with that tag. So as I type in BI, it found these location tags. It took five pictures on Big Beaver Road. It found uh, 13 pictures of birds that it identified as birds. It found three pictures where there's a bicycle featured and it has this tag that says B-I-R-D space V-B. That was two words in a single tag, a compound tag. And that came from a photo that was uh, saved from an email. And that was the tag on that photo. That's a custom metadata tag that was embedded in the photo. And this is something that the Windows 10 Photos app can't do, but um, iOS does. As I, if I typed in the letter R, Big Beaver Road uh, and Bicycle would disappear and I'd be left with 14 pictures of birds. If I added the uh, term VB, I'd only be le left with one. Windows 10 searches across multiple, iOS 14 searches for a single tag. So if, if I use multiple tags, like I use John semicolon, Smith semicolon, on my iPhone, I'm only, only going to see a list of Johns or a list of Smiths. If I type in John Smith, I'm not going to find anything. However, on all my systems, this compound tag were John and Smith are separated by a space. If I type in John or Smith or John Smith, this is going to be found on both Windows 10 and iOS. I'm going to be tagging some photos. I've got the picture tools because it sees that these are all JPEGs. Let's change the view and let's get pictures. So now we have some large pictures and I'm going to go back to the view. I'm going to go back up to the view and change from uh, the preview pane to the details pane. Over here on the side in the detail panel, we have several fields and as you can see, as I click on these, some of the fields get a box around them. And if they get a box or they turn blue, I can add information. I could change the date. I'm going to add some tags. I'm going to add birds. And 
I'm going to add Pelican. Okay, and I'm going to save that. Let me just grab another item. Did you see that this changed? I'm, I'm going to uh, turn that off. This one is Pelican Birds. As soon, as soon as I start adding things, it also says is add a tag. So I'm going to add the tag Pelican. Now, pelican is a word that is in here. This one still says pelican birds. This one says pelican. This one says pelican. Now I'm going to grab all of my pictures that have birds. Bird, 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 bird. Okay, I'm going to add a tag because there's nothing in common. They don't all say pelican. I'm going to say birds. Okay, now because they all say birds, I could remove this tag from everybody or I could add another tag. As soon as I expand my collection, I'm going to expand it and say grab this picture and now it says gators. That field is only allows me to add. I can only remove a field if it's on all of them. I can only remove or change this if it's on all of my selection. And that's a really big thing to understand. So let's just grab all of these and I'm going to add an author because these are all from Claude White. Thank you, Claude. and save. Now everything, all my pictures were, uh, have an author on them. Some of them are tagged. This one has no, uh, this one has a BB tag, no tag, no tag. So I can add and do these with multiple files. I, I'm only going to do this with um, multiple files. And it's important, it's really quick, doesn't take a lot of work. It's really smart the way that if a tag is present on all of the pictures, I'm going to take these all out of the birds group. Grab it, delete it, save. Now none of these birds have a birds tag. As long as both file types support tags, multiple selections work like this. And if I want to um, go to the property sheet, if I go to the property sheet and I go to the details, I can also edit um, both of these. Let's just give, Let's give these a two star rating. And I, I can get to additional fields like copyright. So um, this will work across two pictures also. This will work across multiple pictures also as long as they're of a JPEG type. If I have some uh, PNG files in here, then this won't give me any values because if one of the files doesn't support it, I can't add my tags on any of them. So let's just go. Now, if I look at this picture, it's got two stars. If I look at this picture, it's got two stars. Okay, we're going to take a look at my uh, picture of a palm tree that has GPS information. And I'm going to add a comment. 
just so you can see. So, okay, so this has a comment. I am going to go in and right click on my properties and go to details and you say, you can see I have a comment and down here, I also have GPS coordinates. This picture was taken with GPS coordinates on. If I click on this remove properties and personal information, I get this little box. And if I do this, create a copy with all possible properties removed, it will delete all of these properties and the GPS and make a copy. So let's say, okay. You see down here, I have a copy, properties, no comment, and no GPS location. So we're good. But let me take that same picture, the first picture, the original, not the copy. It still has a comment. Let me right click, get the properties, go to details, which I'm already there. And I'm going to remove those properties again. And if I do this one, it's only going to re uh, remove the properties I check. So if I check delete the comments, it will delete the comment. Any of these other things that I do, I can remove the, the latitude, the longitude, the altitude, or I can save them. But when I click OK, It's gone from the original. No, the comment is gone from the original. It didn't make a copy. So you can see the types of things they're removing from the picture by just clicking remove and remove all possible properties and anything that has an X can be removed. Those are all the things that were removed when it created the copy. Latitude, land, contrast. All of that stuff is removed. The camera maker. So those are how you would remove personal information before sharing things on the web. Other tagging methods include using facial recognition with the People's app on your Windows 10 machine. My genealogy software allows me to tag photos. My photo software, either GIMP or Photoshop, allow me to tag photos. And finally, if I really needed more power, I would go to some sort of EXIF editor. There are several in the App Store. Um, basically, the thing that they could do that the file manager couldn't do is add GPS.